What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art tutorial, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe, make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you boy drop some heat. In today's video, I will be giving you guys a full walkthrough on how to make a cartoon head as usual. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Okay, first thing you want to do, man, you want to import your picture, and all you gotta do is drag and drop it in there. You know what I'm saying? Then you want to hold shift so you can make your picture larger. And shift going to keep the the proportion of the picture all in, in place. It ain't going to distort your picture. It's just going to make it bigger, but it's going to keep it all in the right proportion. You feel me? So I'm holding shift and I'm dragging the corners till I get the right size I need. And I like it right there. Okay, now you want to drop the opacity down on that picture. Then you want to lock that layer. You want to come down here, create you a new layer right above it. And now you want to come up here and set your pressure. The only way you can get this option if you're using a digital art tablet. The tablet I'm using right now is called a UG art tablet. So without a tablet, if you just using your mouse, you cannot get the pressure options. So make sure you invest in your AR tablet. So I'm gonna come right here to new brush, hit okay, go to pressure, change these two bottom numbers to three, hit okay. Then I'm gonna come to my brush, and this is the brush I use, it's the pressure brush. And all it is, is me pressing down light, and me pressing down hard, and then me pressing down light, and then it give me that, that style of brush you see me using every video. So, it's nothing special, it's just, I got my pressure options, and that's it. So, now what we are gonna do, we are gonna make the lines a little smaller by coming right here. Make sure to see if I like that. Okay, that's a good line to start with. We're gonna zoom in this picture, and I normally start with the nose. So we're just gonna come across, make us some clean, clean line work. Keep a nice, nice little good flow. Turn the eye off. I always turn my eye off to take a glance at what I'm doing. Now let's come back in, please. Top lip. Mm. Make that brush a little smaller so I can get a little more control over it. Gotta make sure, make sure you're closing your lines off as well. So I'm gonna make sure my lines connect. I won't have no problems when it's time to do the coloring method. Make this line a little thicker right there. Add this crease right here. Anytime you mess up on the line, you, you just want to hit Control and Z to delete. You know what I'm saying? To go back one. Okay. Now, let's come in. We're going to add the little details on the teeth. And I'm going to do that with my pencil tool. So I'm going to come right here, right click on my pencil tool. And I'm going to select my pencil tool. Make sure this one color is locked and one color is open. Move that color to the top. And now we're going to do the shadows with our pencil tool, so I'm just trace. Oh, wait, 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 messed up. Let me make this come across like that. And make this bottom row come back. Take a step back, look at it. Okay, that look nice. That's clean. Now let's come up here back with our brush. All these eyes. 
always do the top line over the eye first. And I make sure I make it make it nice and thick. Get that top line. Come on this side, do the same thing. Do the top line above the eye. Just like that. I'm gonna come on this side. Now let's go back to our pencil tool, move this color to the top, because what the pencil tool is, is it's a fill color, so it's going to fill in the inner area. So that's why you got to make sure the bottom color is locked and the top color is unlocked. So let's come in closer to the eyes, move in. We're going to fill in the eyes like that. Boom. I'm gonna come on this side and do the same as that thing. We're just gonna fill it in. Boom. Just like that. Right there. Fill that in. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the shape of the glasses. So we still got our pencil tool. Now we're gonna do is trace the outline of the glasses piece by piece. glasses on his face and we're gonna do a lot with this pencil tool before we go back to our brush so let's go ahead and fill in his eyebrows we're just gonna make a nice little texture with it go ahead and add this in add texture to it now we gotta do the hair detail. So what we gonna do, we gonna start right here, add a little texture, and just trace the outline of the hair. So your pencil tool will really come in handy, man. You just gotta use it more. So, we just tracing the outline of the hair right here. Boom, closing that off. And on this side, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna make a nice little texture. Like his hair. Gonna bring it back this way. Bring it back this way. Bring that thing back that way like that. And we're gonna just keep coming up with it. Basically, we just gonna color the whole hair black. And I'm just going around with my pencil tool, making a nice selection, just tracing the outer, the shape of the hair. You know what I'm saying? And now what we finna do, we finna come back to our brush tool. And let's finish the line work and add an extra little details to the face.
Let's go ahead and go back to our pencil tool. Move these colors back to the top. We're gonna do the 3D drip. And so let go. Bam. Okay. Still on my pencil tool. I'm finna come in here and add some little finer detail. Cause I know the eyelash should be hanging over this part. So we're gonna put it there. I'm gonna have it like this. Ooh, bring that back. I'm gonna put it on this side. Have a little, little eyelash effect. eyelash your fit and now what we about to do we is we about to come in back with our brush make our brush a little smaller and we're going finish adding our finer detail Okay, now what we're gonna do, we can delete, we can delete our uh, picture layer, cause we don't need that no more. Now we got our line work. And we can delete these little lines over here that we created. So let's let that delete that. We're gonna highlight our line work. And you see all these is individual lines right now. So we're gonna make all this become one. So you're gonna go to object, expand appearance, and then you're gonna click merge on your pathfinder. And now you see all those little lines that was in between, it just made this whole piece one. You know what I'm saying? It combined it every individual line. So now what I'm finna do, I wanna make this picture a little bigger. So I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna stretch it out. And Sit that in the center. Okay, bet. Bam. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a copy of our line work. And we're gonna lock the top copy. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna select the bottom copy we made. We're gonna go to our rectangle tool. After we click this little piece of paper right here, we're gonna click this. Then you're gonna go to your rectangle tool. Now we're gonna find us a nice little base color for the skin tone to start out with. And I'm pretty good at eyeing it, finding a nice little color. The more you practice, the more you'll be able to find a good skin tone. And I do a lot of tweaking. So we're gonna click OK after I find a nice little base. Go to my rectangle tool, and I'm gonna drag that color over the entire picture. Now what you wanna do, you wanna right click the color, go to arrange and send to back. So it'll put the color right behind your line work. And you'll know if you did that step right, if you look over here and you see your lines, your line work sitting on top of the color. Now what we gonna do, we gonna click off of it. We gonna highlight everything and we gonna click merge. So what we just did there, we made our line work become one with the color now. So after you make it become one, what you wanna do, you wanna right click it, go to isolate selected group. So every area that's closed off, that's why we made sure our line work was, was closed when you know openings. Every area that's closed off, you, you'll be able to change the colors. You see how it's only highlighting this area because it's closed off, it's isolated. This is isolated because we got that closed off that's isolated so we can change these colors individually so that's what we about to do let's select this our outer color and hit delete 
Cause we don't want that You know what I'm saying Now Before we start switching the colors up What I like to do is I like to hit this drop down menu Right here Then I hit this again And I stroll down Till I get to the last black line work And I lock all my black line work And keep the top two unlocked and then you can close it back like that. The reason I do that because you see all the little colors that's trapped in the hair. All I have to do is select it, click isolate select group and select it again. And we can delete all the colors without making a mistake and deleting our black lines because we locked them. You know what I'm saying? So we can get all the little colors out the hair. Without messing up anything, because we just locked our black line work. So, make sure I clean all the colors out there. We good. So, now let's go in. Let's highlight, let's highlight the skin tone real quick, because I want to tweak it a little bit before we get started. Let's go to edit, edit color, adjust color balance. Go to preview so you can get a little sneak peek of how it's, how it's looking while you're working on it. And let's tweak these colors just a tad. Let's, let's find us a nice base tone. Okay, bet. I think that's nice. Need a little more red, but a little more orange at the same time. Bet. That's cool. That's a perfect base tone. So I'm going to hit OK because I like that. Now. What I'm about to do, click these teeth, hold shift, click this bottom row of teeth, so I can color more than one thing, then hit the color, then I'm going to select the eyes, hold shift so I can select more areas that I'm going to color the same, and then I'm going to hit the white on the swatches. So... I'm gonna color these lips. And I always make my top lip darker than the bottom. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and find us a nice little bass tone. Find us a nice little bass tone, bam, that's... Okay. Find us a nice little bass tone. Bam, that's a cool bass tone, that's a little... It's a little purplish to me, but it's, it'll do for now. We can always tweak it. Feel me? Let's make that bottom look. Okay. Everything looking nice, but this top lip looking a little too purplish. So we gotta fix it, bro. Bring it down. We need to have a more redder tone to it. Hey, man, that's cool. That's cool. Okay. Take these little creases. Hold shift because I want to color that the same. Go to my eyedropper tool so I can select this color. And there we go. Everything looking good, man. We're just doing the base color right now. Okay, let's select the gums. Hold shift. So the gums will be a little darker since it's in the shadows, kind of like. You know what I'm saying? Let's, uh. I'm gonna make it, well, it gotta be bad. Cool, that's cool. Cool is good. Bad. Now, we got the base tone, the base color laid out. Now it's time to add shading. You know what I'm saying? To bring it to life. So, and before, wait, before we do the shading, we gotta make sure. We create a layer where the eye colors and the lips and the mouth are sitting on top of the skin texture. So it'll be easier for us to shade. So let's copy, make a copy of our color layer. Lock the bottom color layer. Take the eye off it. Go to our color layer that's in the middle. Then you wanna click onto a color. Right click, isolate, select group. And we're gonna delete the skin the skin tone off that layer. And we're only gonna leave the lips, the color, 
the mouth I mean the mouth color and the um the eye colors. Oh, let's delete all these little hairs. Colors out, out of there. And you're gonna see why we do that. Okay, now we can bring that back. So let's go ahead and cut that eye back on. Go ahead, we can lock this layer too. Now let's create us a new layer and put it between them two. And the reason I do that is because when I shade, I don't wanna have to work around the eyes or the mouth. I can just draw on top of it and it'll fall right behind it. You know what I'm saying? So it'll save me time and it'll make my job easier. So now what I like to do when I'm shading, I like to start with the darker tones and then I like to work my way up to the to the lighter tones. So let's find us a dark shadow. We can tweak it later because we're gonna put this layer on its own layer. Go to my pencil tool and I trace out my shadows. And then I let it fill it in. That's why this pencil tool is so perfect to me. It's my favorite tool to use, the pencil tool. So I just trace out my shadows and let it, and let it all be filled in. So just a nice technique. Putting all my shadows. I'm just looking at my picture and I'm placing all my dark shadows where I see them on the picture. And I want to tweak this color before I go any further, so I'm just gonna select those two shadows I just created. And go to go to edit, and we can go to color harmony because I like to go to just color balance and color harmony. Those are the two edit features I use when I'm trying to find a nice. I'm trying to tweak my colors and get them just right. You know what I'm saying? Let me come down a little bit. I need to get this a little more color, but I need to make it okay. Bring this over just a tad. Okay, cool. I think that'll do right there. I'll just go to edit, edit color again, and let's go to adjust color balance preview. I'm gonna tweak the color just a tad too. I do a lot of tweaking on my shadows, man, because the shadows, you want to try to get them, get them perfect, bro. Get the colors perfect. Not too red, but not too. Okay. Okay, that'll work for right now. That'll work for right now. That'll work for me. I'm going to sample that color I just made. Go to my pencil tool. I'm finna come here and I'm finna finish creating our shadows, you know what I'm saying? And all I'm doing is looking at my picture and placing these shadows exactly where I see them. He got a shadow under his nose like that. He got a shadow under his hair right here. You know what I'm saying? And this was a nice quality picture he sent me, so it made my job even easier to work with. When, you, when people send you high quality pictures, so shout out to the man for sending me a nice picture to work with, man. I'm gonna add some shadows right here. one in this crease right here I just look at the picture and I find while I'm working on my dark shadows I find them all on the picture and I just knock them out one by one I'm looking at my reference and I'm finding where all the dark tones at I'll go ahead and come right here see it's a dark shadow that forms right here in this little crease just like that. And you got another little one. One right here. So go just like that. You feel me? 
bring this on around like this. Then these glasses have a nice little shadow. They come down right. Come down right here. And it work its way out. So we're just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna make a little shadow. See, you slowly piece it together, man, and it slowly builds your picture. You got a shadow on this side of his face. It come up. It come down, go this way. It comes around. Okay. Bet. Nice little shadow effect. Shadow right there. Let's go ahead and pull this one on. Pull that thing on down right there. Side us so. Shadow right here. And we're gonna go ahead and pull this line up. Add a little shadow right there. Okay, we almost finished with our dark shadows. You know what I'm saying? I make sure I finish all my dark shadows, then I create a new layer, and I go a little lighter with my shadow tones. So, trying to complete all the areas, I think I should add these dark tones first before I move to the next. Put one right there. I know it'll be better right here. Also, it's a dark shadow right here. It come up and it work its way on down just like that. And on this side, we got the same thing going. It work its way this way. Come up like that, doo doo doo, and it come down. Then it work its way back just like that. So now we finish with our dark tones, at least for now, because we always can go back to it and we need to add some more dark tones. We finna create us a new layer under the dark tone layer, and we're gonna go a little lighter with our tones. So I'm gonna sample the skin tone, and I'm gonna find me a nice in-between color. So let's go ahead and try this out right there, hit okay. And we're going to create the first shadow with it, and then we're going to tweak it till we get it, we get it perfect. So let me go ahead and create me a start out shadow. And where I'm going to put it, I'm looking at my picture and I'm trying to see where the shadows are. Okay, we can start with the nose. Start with the nose. Shadow right here. Comes up. And it comes over. It comes around like this. A little bit. That's a nice place to put it right there. So let's select that and tweak it because we got to make it flow perfect into the next color. So let's go to edit while we got it selected. Let's go to adjust color balance preview and let's just play until we finally get it to blend into the next color perfect. And I think that's perfect right there. But okay. And now it looks like it's fading better into the next color. Go back to my eyedropper tool to sample the color I just created. Go to my pencil. Now I'm looking at my picture. And I'm placing all my mid shadows exactly where I see them on the picture, man. It's like putting together a little puzzle. We'll go ahead and add a shadow right there. Notice with the mid shadow, it brings this around right here and come back this way.
Good enough. Now, it's time to add the details inside of the eyes and the glasses before we move to the hair. The hair will be the last few little touches we add on this picture before it's complete. So let's create a layer right above the line work. Zoom in closer on the eyes. Let me see how you look on this picture. So I'm gonna zoom in on this picture too. So let's see his eyes kind of got like a, let's see like a, I'm greenish, but it kind of brownish, a little mix. Okay, bet that's close enough. So let's come in, add his eye detail. But I pencil everything with the pencil tool, bro. And now I got that way too bright, but it's standing out too much. So I need to make it darker. But also I need to make it. Okay, that's a nice color right there. That is a per that's perfect. That's perfect, perfect. Okay. So creating a nice little base. Nice little base, man. Just a nice little, nice little base. Then we're gonna make a color lighter. That's gonna fall right here on the bottom part, like that. Then we're gonna we're gonna hit it with the glare. That's gonna make it pop. We're gonna put that glare right there. We're going to add this other glare right there. And bam, you got some nice little, got some nice eyes, man. Pause. Let's so, select the colors. Oh, shift so we can select these colors. I want to tweak the eyes a little bit to make sure I get them right. Go to edit. Go to edit color. Go to color harmony. Make sure you got this on all. Now we need to tweak these colors just a little bit. I don't want to make them too noticeable. Okay, need to tweak this. That a little. Okay, that's perfect. I think that's perfect. Bet. Now the eyes looking perfect. Let's go ahead and do the detail on the glasses. So. Some people just leave it plain like this, but nah, buddy. Gotta come in. You gotta add the little details, man. So we're gonna find us a nice little color to sit on top. Go back to my pencil tool. And we're gonna add the little details that be on glasses. So you can tell it's shining, man. So the shine right there. A little shine right here. It's a little shine right there, man. It's a little shine right there. A little shine right here. Shine down here like that. Then we're gonna put another little shine right here. Okay. Put a little shine. Right. Wait, that's too big of a shine. Wait. A little shine right there. Now we're gonna come back with our color white. Go to my brush tool. Now we're gonna add a nice little glare effect. This a nice little shine right here. Let's see, got a right there and you got a nice little shine right here messed up so I'm gonna step back that shine right there put a 
got some nice little sign right there. Make this thing. glasses looking perfect so now we're gonna create us one more layer and it's the last layer you should be creating we finna do the hair texture so what you want to do you want to pull out go to windows you want to pull out your swatches then you want to go to your library right here you want to click this little book then you want to find gradient then you can just select any one we're gonna find a little basic gradient. Just go through you, go through your little viewer, and then just it can be integrated down. Come over here to your gradient, and now we need to make these edges black, but it's fading into another color. So that's black, and we need to fade it into a brown. That go into a blonde, cause I see you got blonde in this hair, so we gonna. Already move this up, make it a little more blunter. So you just gotta keep tweaking your colors until you get it. Okay, baby, that's fade that in just like that. And now we got our brush that's gonna oh, create our hair. Let me move this down. Yep, got our brush that's gonna create the hair. So, all we do is add our strokes. See, I made these lines. I'm gonna select that. Come over here. Click my gradient, go to my gradient. And I'm gonna slide these gradients by clicking the arrow down on my keyboard so I can place them the gradient spots where I need it to be so they'll flow better okay I want them to be right there and I need to make them lines way smaller man to get a better a better effect so let me go ahead and make these lines smaller than what I got them okay that's cool but we're gonna make this make this little detail like this Give it a nice little, give it a nice little texture. And we're gonna do this through the entire picture. Anytime you you using your gradient for your brush for your hair texture and it ain't flowing in the direction you need it to be, all you gotta do is highlight the few that's not flowing the direction you want it to. Come over here and then you just click down on your arrow on your keyboard until you get it to go the direction you need it. I just move these numbers until I get my gradient to flow the the way I needed to flow. So you gotta do that a lot too to get your gradients to flow.
And there you have it, you guys. How to make a cartoon here. Make sure you stay tuned. Mohi coming soon. And I'm out.